So, you want to know more about certifications in cybersecurity? Well, you're in the right place because that's exactly what we're discussing in today's video. We'll be comparing two certifications, one by ISC Squared and one by CompTIA. Everything is timestamped down below, but I recommend staying for the whole video. So who are these two vendors? Well, they are both world leaders when it comes to IT trade associations who have worldwide recognition. And since their foundations, they have issued over hundreds of thousands of certifications to professionals and are leaders in the vendor neutral certification space. Why we are picking on these two vendors in particular in this video is because they tend to be the most popular for beginners in IT or people looking to get into cybersecurity. So what does that mean in terms of beginner certifications? Well, for CompTIA, we have the A+, Network+, and Security+, and then for ISC Squared, we have CC and SSCP. I have made previous videos comparing all of these certifications, so if you're interested, do check it out after this video. Now, the Security Plus certification, which we're discussing in today's video, is part of CompTIA's core certification portfolio, which includes the three you can see on the screen. It's one of their most popular certifications, and the A Plus and Network Plus are seen to provide a foundation for the Security Plus. And then when comparing that with the SSCP, you'll see how it stacks up and why it's a competitive choice in terms of which one you should take at what point in your career. Before we move on, make sure to click the link in my description, which will take you to my community for cybersecurity on Discord, where we discuss things all to do with this field, certifications, and just help each other out in terms of which one they should go for and how to get started in cyber. So do definitely check that out if you're interested. So now let's discuss the main differences between the Security Plus by CompTIA and the SSCP by ISC Squared, starting with Security Plus. So the Security Plus certification focuses on cybersecurity. However, you can think of the Security Plus certification as a far more focused version of the Network Plus certification. The Security Plus is widely considered to be one of the best introductions into cybersecurity, and you will definitely see it on many job listings when you're applying for jobs. So it's definitely one of the most known certifications out there for beginners in cybersecurity. The actual qualification itself will go on to demonstrate your competency and your core knowledge required for any given information security role. The exam, however, itself doesn't have any prerequisites. So if you're looking to sit the Security Plus, there isn't any requirement for work experience or any type of qualification you need to have beforehand. So there's no specific age and you don't need to have a specific educational background. But however, it is worth noting that CompTIA do recommend that the candidate has at least some IT admin experience. But like I said, don't worry if you don't, if you're confident in yourself and you've done the revision and you know that you can go for it, then by all means, sit the exam. It's just a recommendation to make it slightly easier on you. So let's talk about the exam itself. So it can be taken online or in person at a designated test center. Usually that is Pearson View. Then there is a maximum of 90 multiple choice questions, which could be performance based questions with a maximum time limit of 90 minutes. Then there is a passing score of 750 on a 100 to 900 scale. Every three years, it's worth noting that CompTIA Security Plus gets updated to meet the needs of the industry and to ensure that IT professionals have the skills necessary for today's cybersecurity jobs. Of course, this is a very rapidly adapting field. New things are constantly coming out every day and of course the certifications should reflect that. So if you're looking at revision material, make sure it's for the newest exam that you are looking to sit. The current Security Plus exam launched November 12, 2020 and will be valid for around three years. So at the time of recording this video, we're nearly up to mid 2023, meaning it could be changed later in the year. So do look out for that if it has changed. The exam features key differences from the previous version in order to better align with the latest cybersecurity industry techniques and trends. So it's very important that you're not looking at old material. So now that you have the outline of the exam itself, let's look at what's involved in the learning material. So in terms of topics, we have attacks, threats and vulnerabilities, 
so you will learn how to be able to identify and analyze any indicators of compromise. You will learn identity and access management, which means you'll be able to implement IAM controls and account management controls. You will learn cryptography, meaning you'll be able to identify and implement basic concepts of cryptography. You'll look into risk management, where you'll be able to identify the importance of policies, plans and procedures in security. You'll look into technology and tools, so you'll be able to troubleshoot common security issues with software tools. And then finally, architecture and design. So you'll be able to summarize the concepts behind secure application development and deployment, as well as concepts behind securing clouds and virtualization. As I mentioned, it is seen to be one of the best intros into cybersecurity, which shows by all these topics as they are very important for this field at the beginning of your career, as well as into later stages of your career. Which speaking of your career leads us nicely into the next section in terms of what jobs you can get with this certification. There's no point of getting it and then being stuck afterwards. So main people that go for this certification look to become a security engineer or an analyst work in DevOps or software development, work in networking or becoming a cloud engineer. Obviously, these are just examples and you can go into a variety of fields. However, I did just want to cover some of the main ones. That there wraps up the CompTIA Security Plus certification. So let's move now on to ISC Squared's SSCP, the System Security Certified Practitioner. So the SSCP certification will demonstrate that you have advanced technical skills and knowledge to implement and monitor and administer IT infrastructure. It's ideal for IT admins, managers, directors, and network security professionals who will be responsible for the hands-on operational security of their organization's critical assets. Now, the next bit is the main difference between the Security Plus and the SSCP because for the SSCP, candidates are required to have a minimum of one year cumulative work experience in one or more of the seven domains that they specify on their website. A one year prerequisite pathway will be granted for candidates who have received a degree, which means a bachelor's or a master's in a cybersecurity program. However, it's worth noting that if you don't have the required experience to become an SSCP, you may become an associate of ISC squared, which means that after you successfully pass the exam, you will then have two years to earn the one year required work experience, which I think is a great option if you're struggling to get that first year experience. Then in terms of the exam itself, it is a four hour exam with 150 multiple choice questions, and you will need 700 out of 1000 points to pass the exam. Now that you know that, typically who goes for this certification or what types of jobs you can get after this certification include a network security engineer, a security analyst, systems engineer, and a security administrator. Again, just like the Security Plus, these are just examples. If your job is not listed on here or one you're planning on going for isn't listed on here, that doesn't matter. I can only include so many on the slide, so I pick some of the most popular ones, of course. Now let's look at again what topics are covered, but this time for the SSCP. So the SSCP contains seven domains, which again are all weighted differently. First up, we have security operations and administration. This is where you will learn security concepts and how to identify and implement security controls. We then have access controls, which is where you will learn to implement and maintain authentication methods and to support internet working trust architectures such as zero trust. We then have risk identification, monitoring and analysis, which is where you will understand legal and regulatory concerns and learn how to operate and monitor security platforms such as log management platforms and then analyze results of those which then leads on to incident response and recovery, which is where you will learn to support the incident life cycle. You'll see things about different stages, such as preparation, detection, eradication, and then look at also supporting forensic investigations, a very interesting area personally for myself. This then nicely leads on to cryptography, which is where you will learn and understand how to apply cryptographic controls so you'll learn about salting and hashing and cryptographic attacks. 
Then we'll go on to networking and communication security, which is where you'll learn fundamental concepts of networking and networking attacks. And then finally, we have systems and application security, which is where you will learn to implement and operate endpoint security devices and understand and configure cloud security and operate and maintain secure virtual environments. So we've now covered everything for Security Plus and SSCP. What should you do and which one should you go for? So I'd like to firstly start with saying that some people grasp cybersecurity concepts fairly quickly and for others these concepts can be more of a challenge. So whichever type of learner you are, you will experience some degree of difficulty with both certifications. So it's not that one is harder than the other, it just depends at what stage you're at in your career or what type of learner you are as they ask different types of questions in different ways. After all, an easy certification probably wouldn't provide you with the sufficient knowledge to advance in your IT career, so this should be challenging in one way or one shape or form. So after this presentation, you might be thinking that the SSCP should be harder because it has a one year prerequisite. However, talking to people that have sat both exams and having sat one myself, I do believe that the Security Plus does require slightly, just slightly more technical knowledge, such as having to remember port numbers, for example. But that doesn't mean it's a harder exam. It just depend, again depends where your strength lies, as the SSCP will have slightly harder questions in a different area and require you to memorize different things. So in terms of which exam I chose for myself, it was the SSCP certification. That was because I had the required experience and I envisioned going for further certifications with ISC squared. So it made sense to already become familiar with the certifications and how they ask their questions. So it's good to lay out your path and know where you want to go in the future because that can help in terms of what you pick now, like I did for myself. If you need help or you want to discuss this further, please do join my Discord because we have a channel dedicated to cybersecurity where we can discuss everything you've heard today. And I also on my website have options for you to either have a chat with me or look over your CV if you're looking for jobs. So I have all the help you need and if you've enjoyed this content please do leave a like down below as it massively helps the channel out and it tells me that you're enjoying this type of content and you want me to keep providing it.